six years. That's how long it took me to go from trying to get pregnant to becoming a mother. It seemed more like 42 years, which is certainly what it felt like to my German shepherd, Felix. When he finally got to put that long, wet nose of his into that clean and lacy Moses basket to sniff my daughter for the first time, I knew exactly what he was thinking. You're real baby, mom. And in those six years, both Felix and I racked up the doctor bills like there was no tomorrow. First, it was my three-letter fertility procedures and three-inch butt shots. And then it was Felix with his foot dragging and neurology tests. Lots of waiting rooms and blood work, but no answers and no babies. When he could still jump up on the bed, I'd be happy that my flat stomach could remain the comfortable pillow for his head. My aging canine endured pictures with Santa and bedtime readings of Goodnight Moon. <laughs> As we became more hopeful with adoption, Felix learned not to bark too much during DCFS home inspections and to hold bouts of diarrhea until after we hosted the new adoption counselors for tea. And then came Audrey, my real baby that made me a real mom with real anxiety over every little decision I made those first few months. Should I change her diaper before she eats or after or both? Do I hold her while she sleeps so peacefully in my arms or do I get her used to napping in her crib? But the real standout decision that I fret will make or break future cognitive development, should she eat, play and sleep or eat, sleep, and play. <laughs> I quickly discover how the small choices matter, minute by minute, hour by hour, and one good hour follows another. Motherhood is a series of decisions about caring for another life. So when Felix barked at me once when Audrey cried, I figured that meant I made the wrong decision but at least I'd have his non-judgmental ear to help me plan out the next few hours once she woke up. He'd give me those reassuring looks that I was doing just fine, even when I'd whisper into his ear, this is hard. <laughs> One of the best decisions I made in those early days was to go for a daily walk. My baby sleep book encouraged me to do things with your baby, not for your baby, and that made perfect sense to me. Felix would run circles around me as I got the stroller down the front stairs and put a swaddled Audrey safely in it. She loved the walks even more than us because it meant instant, and I mean instant, sleep. Felix would stay in his usual healing spot, except when he proudly defended Audrey from the evil dogs of the neighborhood. As I firmly gripped the black handle of our new British pram, with that familiar leather leash on my left wrist, I'd look down at my real sleeping baby and I'd feel loads of mommy's success. It was a good hour for all of us. Yes, even I was getting exercise and clearing my head and doing something I've loved to do way before Felix or Audrey were around. And it was usually on those walks that I'd think of everyone's advice. Enjoy every minute. They grow up so fast. Walking was a good choice. But making good choices still doesn't spare us from what is decided for us. One December morning, after living way beyond what the vet expected, Felix told me it was time for him to go. I brushed him with Audrey cooing in the bouncy chair nearby, and I had told him, as I had told him countless times before, everything will be okay. And it was okay. Because here was the spirit that brought me Audrey. Here was the spirit that dragged me to the dog beach after getting news that another IVF had not worked. Here was the guy that walked off the sorrow with me 
and was my partner in ending the insanity of doctor visits to figure out what was wrong with both of us. Here was my Saturday morning bacon eater and the canine I trained to be a good citizen. What a gentleman he was for gracefully leaving his spirit right in our home. Of course, I've spent many minutes, maybe even hours, thinking over the choices I made to keep Felix's life stress-free and out of the vet's office. Did we go on too many walks? Did I give him too much bacon? <laughs> Would he have survived being put under for an MRI? I am convinced that he was in my life to bring me my daughter, my real baby, to help me know how good life can be, to have many good minutes and even better hours, and to help me make the right choices for this new little person who brings us immense joy.